Hey guys, as promised, I'm going to show you my universal GSI installer script for Pixel devices for right now. It might actually work on uh, some of the One older OnePlus devices and Xiaomi devices. I just haven't tried it yet, but let's go ahead and take a look. All right, before I begin, um, you will have to have an unlock bootloader and on the latest Android stock firmware, Android 10, make sure you have an unlock bootloader and you're on Android 10 stock firmware. And this has um, been tested to work, verified to work on Pixel 3, all the 3 series and all the 4 series. All right guys, for this example, I'm gonna be using a Pixel 4a. And if you go into settings about phone, you should see Android version 10. Make sure you're on Android version 10. Now, if you're trying this on other Xiaomi phones or OnePlus phones, make sure you're on Android 10. Next, what we're gonna do is go ahead and power off our phone, and we're gonna put it into fast boot mode. Volume down and power. All right, I'm gonna put it in fast boot mode, so I'm gonna put this, set this aside over here. Now, let's go to our computer. Uh, so, if you go to my site, uh, forum.highonandroid.com, under Auto GSI Installer, you'll see High on Android Universal Auto GSI Installer Topic. So step one, step two, basically unlock your bootloader and install stock 10 firmware. All right, next you're gonna have to download the High on Android GSI Auto Installer ABV1. This will only work on right now AB devices. Uh, if you do a treble check and if you don't have AB device, like such as Samsung devices are all A only, uh, then what you'll have to wait for my other scripts that I'm working on. Make sure to click here to download at the bottom. That's the download link. And that will download the actual, uh, it'll have all the files you need, fast boots, the scripts, and also VB meta, which is important. This way it's really easy. You can just download whatever ROM file you want. Uh, for the ROMs, you can find most of them at uh, on XDA. Just file, type GSI ROM XDA. Go to the project treble thread on XDA and go to the A, B ROMs here. And you can go ahead and download any of the Android 10. It should also actually work on Android 9. I just haven't tested. I, I know most of you are probably gonna try to install Android 10 anyways. I don't know why you would wanna go to Android 9 at this point. But let's go ahead and install. Actually, you know, I like uh, the Pixel Experience ROM. You can also find this on uh, the source here. And if you want the, the latest Pixel Experience ROM on for GSI, go here and uh, go download this one. This is the latest one and download the ARM64 AB. You'll need ARM64 AB for all the Pixel devices. Click on it and it'll download. I've already downloaded. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and unzip the High on Android GSI Auto Installer. And this will un uh, make a zip file called High on Android. Sorry, I made it kind of long. Extract it. Basically, you'll get this folder with everything you need, the, the batch file and VV Meta. So all you need to do is download the ROM file. Now, the GSI files are usually in zip format, XZ format, 7-zip format. Um, so you'll see that the Pixel Experience ROM I have downloaded here is in .xz. So how do you uh, un-extract it? You can use 7-zip and go ahead and find the file, double click, and simply extract, all right? And if you just extract it, you'll get this file uh, that's ending at .img, that's what you need. Do a right click uh, cut, or you can copy it, whatever you wanna do. And go to the high on Android GSI auto installer directory, right click paste, all right? And that's pretty much it, really simple. You're gonna just click on it and select all and copy the file name. And we're just gonna run this, that's it. So just run the bat. Uh, don't worry, there's no spyware of any sort in this files it's gonna run the script and it's gonna boot back into fastboot.d now this method will require your phone to support fastboot uh, d all right if your phone doesn't support it that means you're on a very older type of thing so it says please copy and paste the file name here uh usually for windows you can just do right click and it will paste it in for you if you're in uh, Mac or Linux, oh, sorry, this is for Windows only. So right click and then just hit enter and that will enter the file name of the image file, GSI image, and then it's gonna find the slot. And right now it's B, so make sure enter B. If it's A, hit N A, A and enter. And that's it. This will auto install the GSI and we'll install it perfectly every time. And this way you guys don't have to spend the time 
you know, entering the commands. But I would actually like for you guys to learn how it works. So I'll have another video on exactly what's going on in the script. But basically, we have to do it in a certain step. Up to, so it boots every time. And also, I had the script in a way where I was actually deleting both of the slots. And what would happen is uh, I would actually lose the access to the eSIM completely. So there's something to do with that. So you got to be really careful. That's why I added this one, which slot is active. So I had to add that in the script. So uh, you would actually manually enter which slot uh, we would be deleting. And that actually worked out really well. And then I was able to really make the script work flawless. So basically, we need to find out which slot is active and we need to delete the whole product a or B, which is pretty much your whole system. It's, you know, with Android 10, it's, it just gets very confusing, but basically you gotta delete the system A. Otherwise you will have no, not enough space. And basically when you delete the product, you're able to resize the partition so you can actually flash the uh, system image of the GSI into that partition, the active partition. And you do have to actually flash it into the B partition also. Yeah, uh, if you don't flash to both partition, Android 10, We'll say no, no, no. You're not. We're not gonna let you boot. Uh, and I was doing that like a whole day, and I just almost gave up. You know, sometimes you get stuck. So I get, actually got really stuck a bunch of times. But um, I'm just glad I, I was able to scientifically make it work. So I was really happy because I looked on everywhere on XDA. There was nobody who gave me like step by step directions that actually worked out of the box. I'm, I'm glad I'm able to share this with you guys and uh, make it work because Google kept changing stuff. The problem with, with Google is every time they do uh, these updates, especially Android 10, we didn't see Majisk or we didn't see Twerp for like months, like six months. Like no ROM development, no root for you, man. Actually, we had root, but no Twerp for you, no custom recovery. And then all these ROM developers are making these fast boot uh, flash methods. And, and those those can be a headache, you know. And that, that's basically actually essentially what we're doing. We're using fast boot to flash. Um, but with this one, it's at, at least it's somewhat automated. Um, so you can easily install it and you, you don't make mistakes because there's so many damn, damn commands that you make one thing wrong and then it just, you're in the boot loop and then you got to start over. And you can see uh, it flashed VD meta A and B. That's uh, hugely important. And then at the end, we did uh, fast boot minus W to erase user data. Now, if you're reflashing the same GSI, you don't want to lose user data. Or if you're switching ROMs and you want to take the chance of it booting, because you should erase data when switching ROMs. But sometimes it boots fine. Uh, what you can do is just go ahead and edit the batch file and simply uh, comment out or delete this last line here, uh, fast boot minus F W, just delete it, or you could just en enter these two things here. All right, that will work too. But let's go ahead and take a look at how this thing is booting, and it's looking really, really good. Uh, really like, like, oh, I love it. You know, I have so many Pixel phones, and now I can flash so many ROMs. Like, I can just let the script run and just go have a coffee and come back, and it's done. And I can multitask, whereas, you know, just writing code, because the flashing system .img takes like the longest time and it's it's just a pain in the ass. Yeah. But yeah, it's working and you can see the eSIM if there's no SIM card in here. If you see the eSIM, it's already working and you can see for this particular phone uh, both slots are wa working. Now, depending on the Pixel you have, like the Pixel 4 XL, uh, you will only get one slot. So if you boot without a SIM card, it will go automatically go to eSIM. If you boot with the SIM card, it will automatically default to the SIM. You can use both slots, but it's already, you know, it, it, in the setup, when you started, it's already decided by the system. So I think that has something to do with the GSI uh, and also Android sources. Um, in the later, it's gonna probably be more compatible, but phones like the 4A works, maybe because it's the latest phone they came out with. Um, so you can actually run dual on this one, a full dual SIM. And then Pixel 3a, you can use both SIMs, but you know they don't really support dual SIM capability. You you can still use both. So there's little quirks and uh, here and there. So you gotta watch out for that, depending on which GSI you use. But I find um, the Pixel Experience ROM is pretty good. The Havoc ROM is pretty good as far as the dual SIM capability. Um, like I said, certain phones just don't support it on GSIs like Pixel 4 XL at the moment of the GSIs I've tried, but maybe uh, there might be GSIs I haven't tried. Um, but yeah, 
The GSI's run, run flawless on phones like Pixel or any phones that are based off stock Android. Like OnePlus is very similar to stock Android. Xiaomi, even though my UI, Mi UI, whatever you want to call it, uh, is very different, but their you know framework is very similar to stock Android. So this method actually should work on all of the uh, Xiaomi running Android 10. All these sort of not the latest ones. Um, anyone, any that came out in the like last one, two, three years that support treble, it should actually work. This method should work. So try it. Let me know. Uh, if you need help, you can go to forum.highonandroid.com and I'll try to walk you through any problems you have uh, because I don't have all the phones and I'm not going to buy all the phones out there. But I do have some Xiaomi devices. I'm going to try uh, the Mi 9, Mi 8, and then I've got the Poco phone. So well, that's coming. I'm going to work on the Samsung devices also soon. Samsung devices just just a pain to just root. So sometimes if you mess up, I have to wait a whole seven days. Anyway, I'm kind of getting long. I'm just so glad I'm done with this because I've been pulling my hair out trying to install Android 10 GSI ROMs and also it will work on Android 11 GSI ROMs, but there's not really that many GSI ROMs for Android 11. There's just the official one. This method is so great. It saves me so much time. And I've just literally, I just literally flash all my like 10 different Pixel phones in like less than an hour. It's just so great. It's all automated. So use this method, hit the thumbs up, have a great day. And as always, stay holy.